Hello everyone, this is Elf Angel from Elf Angel's Creations. I wanted to introduce you all to a new type of uh, Native American psychic reading that I started doing. Um, this here is a dream catcher that um, was made uh, by one of my uh, relatives um, years ago. It was passed down person to person, generation to generation, this dream catcher. Uh, in my culture, we are the Plains Cree culture, and we believe that the dream catcher catches your, your bad energies, catches your, your bad dreams. Oh, we'll talk about dreams. It catches your bad dreams at night, so that in the morning, um, what actually happens is that, that negative energy that's collected from the bad dreams stays within the shells or stones. In this case, they're shells, because we're working with water energy. It stays within the shells, and as soon as the light hits it, the morning sun, um, the negative energy gets um, broken, gets destroyed. Um, so that's to do with the bad dreams and then you put this a dream catcher over your bed or over your window so that it's able to hit the sun. Um, now if it's used, that's a common way of using a dream catcher. Now in our old traditional way, um, we use a dream catcher as well for healing and for readings. Um, it does help you bring your, it does help bring your dreams come true. Um, in this case in our readings, it, what it actually does is that it, it'll, um, it, uh, when you use a dream catcher in a reading, you channel the grandmother spider. And grandmother spider is able to weave um, your situation for you in your favor. And she's able to bring um, abundance and babewen, which we call good luck in my culture. She's able to bring that to you in however you need it. Um, I haven't uh, posted this on a website. I'm going to do it this weekend um, if I have time. Um, so grandmother spirit, I use grandmother um, spider, the grandmother spider spirit, um, the channel in this dream catcher. Now, when we do this dream catcher reading, all these um, see all these different uh, little wraps that are around the dream catcher. Those represent all different spirits that are around the earth, around Mother Earth, which we call Mother Earth Nikawiski. Now, these um, parts here that are on the four four directions represent. Four directions represent the four uh, grandfathers or four grandmothers of each direction. They represent the four spirit guides that we use in our culture. Um, the four directions as, um, you know, as in a medicine wheel as well too. Um, so the grandmother spirit is one of the spirits I use because um, it is a um, weaving process to make a dream catcher. So it's like a spider web. So grandmother spirit is, uh, grandmother spider, sorry, is able to, um, weave the magic in your life in your favor so say if you needed uh, love luck with love in your life grandmother will be able to weave it in your favor so that the perfect man or the perfect woman in your in your mind state uh, comes into your life and you know brings you the blessings that you need um, if you need a job in a situation um, again she weaves her magic to, in your favor and then helps you get that job you need uh, if you need money in your life, same thing. She does weaves her magic and helps you get a job, you know, to help you uh, with your financial situations. Or say if you really, really needed the money, you know, by like, we'll say tomorrow, two days from now or so. She's able to bring the magic in your life so that money does come to you one way or another. And you're able to use that money to pay for your bills, your rent, things like that. Um, now, the only thing that Grandmother Spider asks you to do after is to do a tobacco offering or to do some kind of offering to her. Um, as a thank you gift and then from that moment on um, when you're working with grandmother spider she becomes your spirit guide she becomes your um, your animal guide she becomes your your guardian angel and then she's able to help you in situations however you need help what I always tell everyone if you are afraid of spiders um, the dream catcher reading probably won't be for you as much because what happens when we use the dream catcher reading sometimes a physical spider will uh, come into your life, you know, and that's Grandmother Spider showing you that she's around and that she's giving you the blessings you need and she's showing you physically that she's around. So, um, and then because of the fact that we are using the water energy, we're using that water energy to overcome any obstacles that are in your life and to also um, uh, overcome any obstacles in your life and to bring the energy that's needed uh, at a faster rate. Um, I forgot to mention in the last videos here is that I'm wearing blue tonight because today is Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, October, Friday the 13th, October 2017. 
And today I'm celebrating the goddess Freya. Um, Freya is a Norse goddess of love, of uh, rebirth. She's a warrior goddess. Um, she's a goddess of um, um, renewing your energy, renewal. Um, what I was telling people in the last video here is that um, Freya, we, we, she's a goddess of love. In my culture, we call her Notkwatogan, which represents the goddess of love as well too, where she's able to bring magic into your life. In this case, she turns herself into more of a spider spirit, and then she's able to bring magic into your life as well there too. So Friday the 13th is a great day for um, feminine energies. It's a great day to work your magic to um, bring things you need. It is a great time to... Um, you know, like I said, uh, help you with love, finances, abundance, prosperity, protection, healing, good health, um, to help you with your psychic abilities, um, to help you learn your culture, to also help you learn your ancestral magic as well there too. Um, the 13 represents, in this month here, it represents gra um, Grandmother Turtle. So Grandmother Turtle here. Let me just put that down. Grandmother Turtle here. Um, under the turtle shell, you'll notice there's 12 marks. They represent the 12 full moons of the month. On the sides here, you can see there's 13 on each side, which represents uh, male and female energies, as well as the other side. 13, and then 13. Sorry, right here, the edge, 13. Now the 13 there is like Friday the 13th. It represents, um, it represents the 13 full moons within a, a year. Um, these parts here on this side of the shell is also 13. So Grandmother Turtle brings about truth. She brings about um, truth, um, humility, and grounding. Truth, humility, and grounding. That's what she represents. So tonight, we, um, this weekend, I should say, and tonight, uh, whenever we work with Grandmother Turtle, she brings those things and she helps slow down your situation. So that, um, say if you're always on a go and go, 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 things like that, Grandma will actually uh, chime into your life and then she'll slow things down for you so that you're not um, so much on a go, but um, you're pacing yourself at your own pace so that you don't physically get sick, so that you're not stressed out and getting physically sick. So that's what Grandmother Turtle represents. Now, um, like I said, uh, with the Dreamcatcher reading, um, it is available for you guys that need the Dreamcatcher reading or Dreamcatcher healing. Uh, it is a very old, ancient Native American art that has been lost for hundreds of years. Um, the spirits have retaught me how to use it and to channel Grandmother Spider and uh, to help heal my nations and um, not only my nation, but other nations around the world that need, you know, need the healing through Grandmother. So... It is a very ancient old reading, a very ancient old magic that I am bringing back within my culture. And I'm sure those of you magical practitioners out there that, re that uh, work with the spider are also doing something similar to bring um, Grandmother Spider back in your culture. Um, I'll end this video off by talking about a little bit about this necklace, um, the reason why I'm wearing it. Uh, this necklace I made um, yesterday, actually. No, two days ago. I made this two days ago, sorry. Um, it is a wire-wrapped um, wild crystal. Uh, wild crystals are um, stones, crystals, and gems that grow in a backyard, um, especially here in Saskatchewan. So the wild crystals bring about healing. They bring about grounding. They, they help your magic become more stronger, um, and they bring you protection. Uh, the blue beads here represent the element of water and tonight like I said I'm working with uh, Freya's energy this weekend for um, Friday is uh, energy of the blue color So that's why I'm wearing a lot of blue Tomorrow I'll be work wearing um, black the color black in that energy and then Sunday every day I'll be trying to wear a different color to represent a certain uh, deity and to represent a certain energy around that day to help me with my magic and spiritual work to help your guys' blessings um, come about. So if you're interested in a Dreamcatcher reading or any kind of reading through me or natural energy healing, I do provide those. Like I said, go on my website under www.elfangelscreations.ca. Um, check out my website, get a hold of me if you need uh, energy work sent to you. I'll send it as soon as I can. and. Um, I'll send, definitely send the blessings your way as well too. So blessed be everyone and happy Friday the 13th.